I want to mention just a few things about Microsoft Word's mail merge data source. Take a look here. Open in front of me, I just got a blank document just to demonstrate the different types of data sources that you could potentially use within your mailing labels or form letters and so on. So up inside of Word, we'll go to the mailings tab. Uh, you're going to find a section called start mail merge and there's an option for select recipients. Essentially, where you're going to get the data from if you're going to create your mailing labels or form letters and so on. Your actual data. Customer names, employee names, addresses, whatever it is that you need. You're going to find underneath selected recipients, you've got three options on how you can get your data. You can create a new list. This would allow you to create it on the fly. And I, I want to be able to send it off to a group of my customers. Oh, well, perhaps I don't have the customer information stored electronically. Maybe I've gotten written down on a piece of paper and now I need to take that data and put it electronically so I can use it within my mail merge. That will allow you to create a brand new list on the fly. You got use an existing list. That's what I'm going to use here. I've got an Excel document that perhaps you downloaded in the prior video. Uh, it's got headers along the top. Very important that those headers are there. Uh, contact name, address, city, whatever headers you have, but you got headers as the first row, and then you got all your rows of records down below. This is my data source. Now there's one more option that you have uh, from an Outlook contact list. So if you use Microsoft Outlook as your email tool, you probably use contacts where you store things like people's names, their email address, maybe even their physical address, their phone number, and so on. We could hook up Word to Outlook Get the data from there and create your mailing labels and form letters. Use Outlook's contact list as your data source. So three options. Brand new list, on the fly, type it out on your own. Use something like Excel, an existing list, or use Outlook's contact list. Okay? So this is just kind of quick FYI. We're going to use that Excel document I just showed you a moment ago. That's going to be our data source. Column headers along the top, rows of records down below. Now we're going to merge it with Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at it.